All right, guys, so today in front of me, we have the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C922, which is the last release of this year. Um, I do want to send a big thank you over to Katie and Ethan Turk and my buddy EJ for, um, for finding these bottles for me because I cannot find them around here anywhere. So again, thank you guys. Um, it is much appreciated. Definitely excited to get into this review. Um, you know, I was a big fan of the A122. Not a big fan of the B522. Um, that one was actually eliminated in my blind barrel proof showdown. Um, but does this C922 hold up uh, with the A122? Does it remind us of some of the older Elijah Craigs that were produced? We're about to find out here right now, guys. So without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, so as I stated, this is the last release for this year, the C922. It is 12 years age stated, comes in at 124.8 proof. Let's go ahead and get in the nose. So this one, like the first thing that I get uh, a little bit further into the glass is some burnt brown sugar. Um, I do pick up a little bit of char as well uh, as like a um, little bit of some black pepper there further into the glass. Further away, it gets a little bit sweeter. You do pick up a little bit of that rich caramel sweetness, some nice vanilla. Um, again, a little bit peppery there, um, a little bit further away as well. It almost reminds me of like a really um, dense, rich, like creme brulee. Um, really nice, like some caramels to it, some, some vanilla. Um, again, there's like this little bit of like some pepper um, going on there on the, on the nose. But then... Then there's also like this nuttiness aspect to it as well. It is uh, it is kind of peanutty there, a lot further into the glass, um, almost like a like a dried peanut shell. Yeah, very very rich, kind of like dense smelling on the nose. Has a really really nice nose, guys. Let's get into the palate. Cheers. Yeah, so right away this one kind of attacks the um, the sides of the palate. Really nice mid palate, kind of savory, slowly kind of uh, like trickling down the, the back of the palate and into the finish. I would say it drinks its proof, you know, 120, you know, 124 proof. It's that's about accurate. So on the front of the palate, it comes off it comes off sweet um, on the front, and then on that that mid palate is just like. A lot of caramel, a lot of vanilla. Uh, some of that char that I mentioned on the nose, I do start to pick up. Um, but then, again, some of that that you know peanut forward uh, profile goes from like the the mid to back palate and into the finish. Gives you a nice hug. A little bit of um, and and this is something I I get on a lot of the Elijah Craig expressions is some of that like cayenne pepper, um, or almost like a. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, really, it's it's along the lines of a of a cayenne pepper, not necessarily like a like a black pepper. I was getting some of that on the on the nose. Cayenne pepper definitely there, definitely present um, on the the mid to back palate and into the finish. I say, I mean, the the flavors do linger on a little bit. Um, I wouldn't say it's an extremely long finish. I would say it's it's that medium to long, maybe more along the the medium medium side. Really nice flavors though, kind of kind of linger around, sit there on the palate. Get a second sip. See, so that second sip changed uh, quite a bit. So a lot, um, a lot, a lot more oiliness going on in there. Um, viscosity definitely a little bit more present on that second sip. Still a lot of nice um, sweet vanilla and caramel up at the, on, on the front of the palate. Mid palate is really where it attacks with that that proof point, that bite. Not a lot of rye spices whatsoever. But then again, that that mid to back palate and into the finish um, is is where you know that cayenne pepper starts to develop. That caramel is still present there as well. Um, but then there's like this this dried leather note, slight hint of like a tobacco. Again, that 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 cayenne pepper definitely present um, on, on the mid to back palate into the finish. Not so much a black like a black pepper um, like you would pick up on some rise, some spicy rise. And then again, medium to long finish. Um, you know, I was a big fan of the A122. This 
this I think is right up there with it. Um, but this is the direction that Elijah Craig really needs to to continue to go down. Um, that flavor profile, it's borderline. It, it's almost tasting like some of the very old releases, like some of those um, some of the Tombstone um, Elijah Craig's. It's it's kind of going down that road again. I would love to see them, um, you know, continue to put out you know some product like like the C922. I'm um, starting to get into that that older style Elijah Craig uh, flavor profile. Really nice second sip though, guys. Let's get into the last one. Cheers. Yeah, so I mean that that third sip really just kind of maintained um, that consistency. It, very very strange though. It's very very slight, like um, like cherry, almost like a cherry cola kind of note there on the middle of the palate. Kind of where that. Um, that that proof point was hitting there for a minute. Never really got a lot of that cherry cola kind of vibe from Elijah Craig, but again, front of the palate, um, nice vanilla caramel, almost reminds me of like a creme brulee. Mid palate is kind of where that proof point really starts to hit you. Um, slight kind of like cherry cola note there that kind of popped up. Mid to back palate, um, some peanut shell, um, some cayenne pepper, um, caramel is, is still kind of there. Little bit of some leather and tobacco that kind of develop and, and start to form there into the finish. Um, medium to long finish, definitely. I mean, definitely on the, the medium side, but slightly there along that, that long finish side. Definitely gives you that Kentucky hug. Drinks, it's proof. 124, 124.8 uh, proof. I would say very, very accurate. Um, again, I think the flavor profile is, is heading in the right direction. Uh, can't wait to see what... Uh, the A1, um, two, three is going to be like, again, if it kind of maintains, um, you know, like that last release, we're looking for a, uh, uh, a really nice, um, you know, the next three series of, of Elijah Craig. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of this one. I, I do want to say this is probably my favorite of the three. Uh, again, this between the A, you know, this one and the A122. Um, but I think this one may take the uh, may take the cake, uh, to be honest with you. Great flavor profile. Um, again, reminds me of some of those older Elijah Craig's. Um, well done, guys, uh, by Elijah Craig here. So I want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. And again, guys, um, fantastic batch of Elijah Craig. Um, I do want to send a big thank you again over to uh, Katie and Ethan Turk and EJ for finding me these two bottles here. Um, I'm sure I'm going to go through this one fairly quickly. Again, great flavors. Vanilla, caramel, kind of creme brulee thing going on in the front of the palate. Mid palate, kind of where that uh, that proof really starts to hit you. Not a lot of rye spices. Um, but then, you know, that uh, the very, very slight hint of like a cherry cola on that last sip. Mid to back palate is really where it shines through. Some cayenne pepper, um, a little bit of tobacco, a little bit of dry leather there. Um, as you know, that that caramel kind of blends all that together um, as it goes down. Medium to long finish, kind of right in between that medium to long. Um, fantastic flavor profile though. Really nice and oily, viscous. Um, it really kind of leaves you wanting uh, more. Um, probably my favorite batch of the three. Will it make my top ten whiskeys this year? got to stick around to find out um either way guys if you're looking for more reviews like this hit that subscribe button bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams you also find me on instagram at dusty dance with your reviews till next time guys stay dusty